the video in five seconds of the freaking spider gonna crawl down your throat, nigga. While you sleeping, my nigga. The fuck? Hey, what's going on, you guys? Drayski back with another video. This is the second time I'm recording this because my freaking computer died, so... I'm a little irritated if you if you if you catch my drift. But anyway, uh, let's get into the video, bro. We are making a Blake Griffin build today. Uh, this is going to be more of a type, uh, kind of like a prime Blake Griffin at LA uh, Clippers Blake Griffin type build. But this is Blake here. I do feel bad for him that he's on this team. Like this team is horrible. But um. The badges that he has, I feel like he should have contact finisher on gold. He only got contact finisher silver. He also does not have slithery finisher at all, which is a badge that I think he should have. Um, the shooting badges he has is just, eh, it's whatever. Hot Zone Hunter is cool, and Green Machine Bronze is cool, but everything else is just whatever. Uh, Hot Start is actually pretty cool, too. So, like, those three bronze badges are actually pretty nice. But, um... He got all bronze playmaking badges, and we're gonna do better than that. Like, we're not about to have that. And then for his uh, defensive rebound badges, he has brick wall, gold, moving truck, gold, and box bronze. So that's what he has. For his attributes, he has a 78 layup, 98 standard dunk, and a 90 driving dunk. It's funny because I think we have identical stats to that. We have super, I think, I think all of that shit is actually super, I fucking, super identical to what he has. I'm sorry, I'm speaking too fast, but, um, he has a 45 mid-range, 61-3. Um, he got a 75 close shot, as well as a 78 free throw, 74 fade and hook, 84 post moves, um, draw five, 72, 77 ball control. He has a, sorry, I had a, I had a big yawn. Uh, he has a 78 interior defense, uh, 59 perimeter, uh, 51 block. He has 63 defensive rebound, 40, 43 offensive, 65 lateral, uh, 68 speed, 71 acceleration. He actually has a 94 strength. That's actually a lot. I, I did not know he had a 94 strength. 94 strength for moving truck gold is probably freaking crazy. We probably can't move him at all uh, in a 90 vertical there. Uh, so let's get into the Blake build and get the video started. So before we started, make sure that you like and subscribe. I'm trying to reach 5K by the end of the year. So I would really appreciate it if you guys would subscribe to the uh, subscribe to the channel you know um so we're gonna go right-handed 23 and we're gonna go with the blue more blue than green third chart down we're gonna go with the speed pie chart because we do want to be fast be able to get to the basket as quickly as we can to get those contact them animations uh we're gonna lower this to 74 so that will get to a 78 and a 99, I believe. Uh, we have this shit here, 76 on the free throw, uh, 69, three, uh, 72 mid range. Uh, we're gonna max out everything here. And put that down one to a 74. Max out interior defense, block, defensive rebound, and put the rest into here. Get six defensive badges, so we get 17, 10, 16, and 6. Um, we're going to go with the built body type because we're actually lowering the weight. So you're not going to have Blake's interior defense, but it's cool because you have a higher block than him as well as having a higher rebound than him. Uh, you're not going to have his ball handle. And yeah, so you're going to have some stuff not like him, but it's going to play like him. Uh, you want to go max wingspan. With the max wingspan, you have an 88 driving dunk at a 99, which is close to a 90, really close. You also have a 99 standing dunk. He has a 98. Your layup will get to an 80, what is it, an 81, so it's higher than Blake's. You also have a 95 close shot, which is insane. Your block will be an 82. 
defensive rebound to be at 81, uh, and a 70 offensive rebound, which is not bad. 65 ball handle, as well as having a 70, what, 67, 71 three point shot, and a 73 mid range shot, and you have an 80 free throw. So this build is really nice. It's actually not that bad. You can finish pretty good. It is max wingspan. Blake does not have max wingspan. Uh, but yeah. So the takeovers you got to choose is sharp, slashing, rim protecting, and glass cleaning. These are pretty good uh, takeovers to be able to choose from to me. Glass cleaning takeover would give you a 91 rebound and a 99 and an 80 offensive rebound which is not that bad you also end up getting like an 82 speed i believe and an 82 acceleration with a 75 or 74 vertical or something like that so yeah this build is is, is a really nice build to have to be honest um oh actually damn it i messed up um with rim protect and takeover it increase your rim it it increase the interior defense by 10 so you have a 66 and that'll be a 76 interior yeah 76 interior defense so I, I don't know if you guys would want that it also increase your block to a 90 something which is pretty cool to have uh sharp takeover increase it will have your three at an 80 your three will be at 81 or 82. 81 in sharp takeover and at 82 mid range shot and sharp takeover. So this is a really nice to have as well. But the one that we're actually gonna go with is the um, slash and takeover. Cause with slash and takeover, you'll be able to do whatever you want when you drive, when you have your takeover, like whatever the hell you want. You want to just dunk on a nigga, go ahead and do that. Like, pretty much. You have a 75 ball handle with the uh, slash and takeover, as well as having a 98 driving dunk. And then you'll have a 99 standard, of course. And you will have a 91 layup on this build. So, that's something that you would really, really want. And that's something that I would really, really want. Interior finisher. Similar to Amar Sotomayor, John Collins, and Blake Griffin. <laughs> this is a Blake Griffin build. And yeah, let's go into the test build. And uh, we're going to look at the badges and what I will put on him. And that'll be it for the video. Um, so with our shooting badges, I would definitely go high zone hunter as high as you can have it. Uh, range extender, probably high as you can have it or silver. It depends on which one you would really want to do. I might do silver just to save bash points. You really shouldn't be shooting from super far ranges with the low three anyway. So I would kind of want to stick towards the corner area. I would kind of put that down and put green machine bronze on or something. And I would just stay in the corner with catch and shoot and hot zone hunter and just sit there and you'll be able to shoot corner threes as well as being able to play make a little bit and get contact done all that stuff this is a this would be a really fun build especially when you decide to level it up or if you decide to level it up so we're gonna go on pluckable uh probably bronze for right now bailout bronze down here i'll probably put that gold just so if you get the rebound you could be gone um quick first step on gold i would put that gold uh post spin probably do that gold Dream Shaker, I'd probably do that go at that at this point, because what why not? And then tight handles probably like silver. So if you do like a little size up move, you could burst out of the size up and get your defender leaning. Uh he's not gonna be able to stop you. This build would be really nice, actually, uh, if you level it up. This build would be really nice. I actually wouldn't put Bell out if you're not really gonna be throwing pass out of shots. But this is what I would end up using if I had this build playmaking wise and then unpluckable just so you don't get ripped that easily uh with the defensive rebound badge, i would put rebound chaser all the way up i would do box chase artist intimidator 
the reason why I like chasing artists so much is because it draws people into animation so that you can get a block and then you'll have a high block anyway so you'll you'll be able to get those animations a little more frequently and um, and to be honest if you wanted to lower it you could put rim protector on but I actually wouldn't I actually would fucking do something like this too like if you're gonna be standing corner most of the time and you just run in to grab the rebound rebound chaser you, you don't need box because you're running in to grab the rebound and the tracking on the on rebound chaser will help you get the board over box because you're not going to be in position to to box somebody out if you're just running in from the corner to try to grab it and then even on defense you're just standing in the paint because there's no defensive three in the park so you can just stand there and wait for the rebound and grab it anyway nobody ever really does box outs and stuff but if you're doing twos yeah, you might struggle. <laughs> but if you do twos, yeah, you, you probably gonna struggle. But at that point, I'll probably take away the protector and put the box back on. Um, and with the finishing badges, I will go contact finisher, the slithery at least silver, consistent silver, acrobat silver, because Blake hits acrobatic layups. I would do pro touch, bronze, slithery. Um, and then at that point, you could really just put whatever you want. I would put like back down Punisher, Silver, just so you could abuse somebody a little bit. Lob City Finisher on at least bronze so that you could catch some lobs. Uh, and then at that point, I'd probably just put Slithery up to Hall of Fame or put it on gold and then put like consistent on gold or something just so that you could have better, like more room for error on your layups. But yeah. This is the Blake Griffin build. I really hope you guys enjoy. Comment, rate, subscribe. And I really hope you guys have a wonderful day. And as always. No, wait. <laughs> <laughs> he should have hit the like button.